Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 30 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we're going to get started with some mystery requests at the gate. Okay, this is one of the Inferus Knights, and he's think and he's been thinking about something. Okay, so they're on patrol, so they won't so the other guy says he doesn't want to talk long. So these two are part of the Komodo dragons, I called them. Right. Of course. So, but now they're in the castle without Gilsh's supervision or anything. So, with whom are they affiliated now? Well, since they were working under Kisnir, and now they're still working under Kisnir, it's basically the same, right? So yeah, Kisnir brought some of the guards along into the castle. Yeah, so this will be fine, he guesses. Our particulars, the particulars of our affiliation aren't so important. And there are still Rickville people living here, so whom they protect, so what they do hasn't changed. That's right. As knights, we protect the people, and that hasn't changed. So they kept doing that, and any affiliation problems they had, they pushed out of their minds. I don't know why that was important. Maybe it'll be important later. Okay, I already took care of that, so let's keep moving. Alright, it's gotten hot around here. So, there's steam coming out here and there, and it's really humid, so Mikio says there should be a hot spring around here. Yo points out one particular... Um, hot current that she thinks is a spray is a bath. Oh, it's a hot spring. She wants to go in. Okay, since this is wild lands and people aren't taking care of the temperature, she thinks it's unregulated and you're likely to get scalded if you go in. Ooh, she has, she's got the body of a god, so she should be able to withstand it. Knock it off. Okay. Rao Rosso, where we're going, sits at the foot of an active volcano called Doshua Peak. 
And in that area they also have hot spring, hot uh, water currents that they have engineered into hot springs. So if we want to go into hot springs, we should probably go to a proper facility like theirs. Alright, so if we want to enjoy a hot spring, then we need to go to Rauroso. We better hurry. It sounds like our goal has kind of changed from rescuing Avaro. The goddess has gone crazy from the heat. Sure, will turn to normal soon. <laughs> yeah, this is Tia thinking to herself that she wants to relax with Avaro in a hot spring soon. So I guess she's kind. Of, he's kind of on her mind. All right, fun and games time. And although it says we're in a kind of hot area, it doesn't actually make much use of the heat in throwing us hot enemies. So Miku is actually a little useless here. We'll leave the front line up to Karin. Hmm. No, I don't want to use you running as a tank so she gets to stay here. Modestly useful. Highly useful. You know, I was not expecting that big ugly to just stay there and do nothing that turn. Hmm. Well, this will be fine. Although it sets eel on a trap, it's only a trap that takes fatigue points. And we don't typically run out of those. And now Karin has gotten enough speed that he can get three attacks on some earth elementals. Of some other earth elementals. Ah, jeez. Ah, oh, this is what I expected it to do. That big ugly is attacking us. What the hell? That's nasty. Is this some kind of mythic beast? Yeah, it seems to be a Genju. Or mythic beast, sorry. 
And since it's so large, it'll be... There'll be a good feeling to cutting it up. Yeah, she's gotten a bit excited. Alright, Gil's okay with this. If it's this kind of material, you should probably lightly fry it before eating. So if it's hard to get, it must be tasty, huh? Uh, but Fia doesn't want any. Ah, uh, yep. So, apparently this is something that was left behind to hinder us. But, leave it to Kisnir. If we keep thrusting through, we'll get our... All the way, no time. Alright, let's make a path to Avaro. Oh, big and ugly. Him. I should not have brought Ranner in up so far. But since she's here... Although she isn't normally suited to tanking, since she doesn't have much life, there's also the consideration that she can draw enemy from her opponents. Well, perhaps I'll make use of it another time. No. Kisnir comes up. That long range attack that the worm did is darkness elemental and we don't want Fia taking the brunt of that. Hmm. Those magic attacks they throw at EO bother me though. Ha! <laughs> Guess who's a water element who got too close? Oh crap. So, those bats also have this gallstone spit that is also darkness, but it's pretty weak. Oh, more skeletons. Yeah, this is why we want Cotton up front. Although he's not really big on ranged attacks, he does have the one. Yeah, this will do. Cut him up, Eel. Hmm. I'm really worried about putting me KU into combat suits. 
I don't know if I really want to put Mikeu in any more combat situations. She's pretty fragile. Yeah, I'll leave her behind for now. Caught her in smash! Oh hey, super long range. And does super good damage too. Whoops. Well, she can't counterattack, but it doesn't do much damage to her either. Hmm. Yeah, sure, kill it. Oh, it had a response attack. I didn't even notice. Okay, pretty much a waste here. She does a few damage, takes a few damage. Oh, these two are fairly fair match. Other than Kisnir being faster. Let's leave it to these two though. My Yui Ki can take this so hard. Oh. That was nice. You got to see a special ability this guy sometimes gets. Iatsu. Um, I think this was used in Bleach. This kind of spiritual pressure stuff. No. Was that Kiatsu? In any way, case. His fearsome presence prevents the enemy from attacking, leaving them quaking in fear for the entire combat round. But it only hits activates 15% of the time. Alright, Kissinger can finish this off. It happened to her. The thing happened to her and she didn't get to actually attack. Here she is. Now I'm gonna take a risk and let her sit like this. I don't think she'll die. Hmm. Oh. Damn it with your magic attacks. Don't attack Eel. <laughs> but nothing else has magic attacks in this vicinity. <laughs> what? I was not expecting that. That was his area attack and it killed the eel. Of all people. It's really powerful. I would think that Eel would dodge it, but nope, Eel's down. That makes only Eel who has died in my Let's Play so far. How unfortunate. Alright, try and finish this guy off again. Nice. Oh, and a rank up. A uh, sword flow master kind of thing. This is a skill I probably won't be using. But she's faster, attacks harder, and costs more to deploy. Bad. 
bastards. Oh. Bit her refill her magic so she can keep attacking. Now we can move Fia up again. Hmm, these guys aren't important. Oh yes, I remember. Kisner tears these guys up. She can take a lot of damage from them though. Holy magic, die. Not bad, not bad. Just so we know, these three squares here require the Mudwalk ability, which only Kaurin has, so he's the one who has to close those two. Mm, one, two, three, four. Okay. Kisnir takes a step forward. We'll put Fia here. The bats will typically attack Fia because they do more damage to her. But at this range, she can use her capture attack. And these guys are three stars. Marking our first three star enemy, unless I've missed one somewhere. Oh, jeez, that. I forgot about that. Okay. Oh, these obnoxious bastards. Okay, 16 times 2. This will be fine. Why did I put Ramrin in front? Well, she can hold her own here. Some kind of bones. I'm going to leave Karin here so that they don't gang up. These bats don't gang up on Fia.
More bats in front. Uh, okay. I think we can do this. Ha! Ah, miss. See, this is exactly the problem I wanted to avoid. Hmm. Twelve. Yeah, better not try that. But they don't do much damage. Kisnir, do you have a capture rope? Yes, you do. Capture this. That should do. <laughs> Quivering wings. That's creepy. Okay. Capture! Again. Yeah, they do prioritize her. Fortunately. Is there's three small potions. Healing potions. You missed? Can't believe you. Okay, so the attacks keep coming and we're having a tough battle. It's pretty simple. We are being, as if we were being instructed, the formation here is lending its abilities to our enemies. Yeah, this is pretty disadvantageous. So the enemies can ignore the land and continue to attack us, but we have to bite our time and look for openings. Our weapons don't reach well. This is bad. If we keep going on this, we'll eventually run out of stamina. Oh, hey, Fia's got an anti-air skill I never equipped. It'd be useful against those bats. Uh, anyway, Kisnir is saying that our only good weapon against them is, well, Fia's bow. Ah, oh, geez, we're never going to get to a bar like this. Can't somebody do something? I guess somebody can. So, with an arrow flying in, a monster gets killed all of a sudden. And we see somebody wielding a weird weapon, and it's somebody whose mustache we know. It's Deedhelm. Yep, defeated a monster in one hit. So, kind of like Avaru, he's not only good at construction and building, but also at fighting. Ah, but why is he here? Well, he was worried about us. It's a good thing he followed. So, he's left the 
Castle Inn in charge of his subordinates. Who are pretty good at this so we can rest easy. But if he could do that, why didn't he do it from the start? Alright, thanks for helping. Hmm, well. Nice of her, since Avaro isn't as forthright with his appreciation. And also, he gives a Thea a new bow. This so it's a long range bow. With that we can reach the enemies. And Deed will be helping us out as well. After all, we're on a, in a hurry to get to Avaro. Right? Yep, so with Deed on our side, we're gonna feel really confident in our abilities. So let's go save his cute pupil. <laughs> so, according to him, he doesn't really care about Avaro being in trouble. But. These girls being in trouble, he had to come and help. Heh. Well, that's what he says, but he does care about Avaro as well. All, most of us know. So, if he is talking about how she's making a connection even here in the worst of circumstances. <laughs> All right, he'll be showing you his power, so be prepare yourselves, monsters. There's the bow. Indeed, also has the town has the engineer skill, so in the same way he can fix things up. We can deploy him, but be careful of the cost. If all of my guys were deployed at once, I'd be cost over again. Excuse me. Ranarin also has capture attacks. They aren't very strong, but... 12, 15. She may win. She has the anti-air skill after all. Doesn't she? I guess not. Okay. Do I have some extra capture rope sitting around? Oh yeah, it's sitting here in my inventory, obviously. That poison breath thing did regular damage to Kisnir, but it's put darkness and detail and has a resistance against it. Oh yeah, let's check out this new weapon. I never did look at it in my trial run. Oh, so that thing we got for our magic lead is better than this. Although it would give us a skill. I wonder what it looks like. 
Oh, she could shoot from four spaces away with it. So, gonna stick with that. He's near capture. These are the fatigue potions, I believe. One of them. Hmm. Well, Kalrin's low on spell points, so I'll have him heal next turn. Oh. This is unexpected. You fucking bat bastards. <sighs> okay, we're in. Well, don't need to show any hesitation in pulling them back. I can redeploy her in a couple turns if I need to. Now, these guys aren't important. I'm pretty sure over there there's a bat, though. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Nope, too far away. Oh, give me a break. t time is right there and he could kill you for us. Alfia's capture skill only has a range of two, so she's in a bad position here. Hmm. Okay. Capture this anything for us, Deep. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Deet also has the remove skill. Or react. And sometimes he, this skill activates and he gets two turns per turn. So, uh, move forward, I guess. Hmm. Ah! I fuck up. Well, Karin will catch up eventually. Well, this... Uh, that's a lot of defense. But Kisner has a lot of defense as well. Oh, well, may as well take it. Fia would be able to handle that pretty easily. Well, with her ranged magic attack. Fortunately, the undead have a rather horrible luck. Just quit wasting your time. You're just going to get him bored. Alright, so two mining points and this thing to fix. Hmm? More bats. Okay. 
Kisnir can take these. Although pretty soon I'm going to want to heal her. Hmm, yeah. Ha! Ah, how nice. I wanted him here. So that he can take care of these bats instead of Kisnir. Hmm. Free bats, free bats. Now, if you capture... no. Kill 25... If you kill 25 enemies on this map, you get one of the rewards at the end. But it doesn't have to be all in one run, so I'm not worried about it. I'll come back and get it later. There's still a bit of mining to do. And I'd like to deploy. Next turn I can take that deploy point. And dispense Mikeyu from it. Mikayu's gonna fall behind in levels if I don't find some really good use for her sometime. Another fatigue potion. Now this particular room has an upper level, and then more cliffs, and then a lower level. And nobody can, that can scour that cliff can actually open the chest. Ranarin can do it, but I can't equip her with the item that lets you open chests, so she's useless in that regard. But Mikio with her ice crossing ability. And equipped with the unlocking item, can come over here and get this one. Two ice shards for improvements. Okay, all the gather points. And you also get something if you collect all the goddess cards, which I don't usually do. Alright, so we finally got to the exit of the tunnel, but there are more of the hot springs that are too hot around. Alright, these springs have had their temperatures controlled by somebody. So, in other words, we're in a hot spring. A proper hot spring. Right. Oops. Okay, she sees light from somewhere, so it must be connected to the surface. So, let's find Avaro. By getting all the goddess cards, you get rainbow grass, which I think is the first instance I have of it. I could be thinking of seven colors, mushrooms. In any case, we get all these things. If we defeat 25 enemies on this map, we get... Is that the rock that gives you speed? Or luck? Or something. Alright. This is volcanic rock. That's good, because we needed it. For something or other. Crystals. Jeez, I wouldn't have got... Tried that other map seven times for crystals, and this one just gives it for free. 
今日も男性について学ぶ時がやってきました。All right, she's at it again today. Why does she need to study men anyway? I think something is lacking in her education if she feels this is some kind of learning experience. Okay, anyway, Havara says no matter how many times you try, he is not going to、uh, have feelings for her. <laughs> so, he gets to say no as long as he likes. But if she keeps coming at him, he'll eventually get to the mood. Okay, so she'll tell us that the reasons why she isn't simply having her way with him is because she respects him. And the man is the one who needs to take the lead in the situations. So, since he's going to be her husband, he needs to step up and, you know, take the lead here. Even though you're the one who went and kidnapped him, he's the one who has to do it. She's got some pretty. a pretty bad preference here.、Uh, We'll call it a sick hobby. Although it isn't that bad of a word. Alright, so until his mind and body start reacting to her, she's going to start washing him again. Nah, Bavaro swears again he won't do it. Okay, so how long can you keep this up? She's going to enjoy it. Well, I v a r o s trying his best to not react, but it is pretty near his limit. And actually, he's getting near his breaking point. If he can't escape soon. Hmm, hey. Behind her, on the surface of the water, there's some foam rising up. And as the foam continues and gets more、uh, voluminous, something happens. Okay, so apparently they had to swim through and they came up here. She didn't realize it was connected to a, a hot spring, like a commercial one, or to be more specific, a private one. But anyway, since they can't go back, let's see where we are. Fia. h a v a r o just spits her name out. Yay! My goddess is here to rescue me. Alright, great, it's a v a r o And it's a good thing he's safe. Then she looks at what's going on here. Na is one syllable that the Japanese people use. What's going on here? Havaro's enjoying himself, relaxing in a hot spring with a woman. Well, thank you for telling us. This is a misunderstanding. He's not enjoying it at all. Is that really what you should be objecting to? 
to you, bastard. All right. She can't tell us enough how good we're doing. Nice job, Avaro. What? You're praising him? She's really happy that you're making good connections with women. After all, it's connected to her power. Oh, she's so excited, she can't calm down. She's just quivering and shaking and she wants to hit him again. Oh yeah, well, maybe we should address this other person. So, you there, person who's acting like she isn't in a connected to this. <laughs> what? Me? So, Alright, so why did you kidnap Papa? Such a villainous act. Even if the heavens forgave you, she as a god would not. Ah, I see. So the heaven and the gods are different, huh? あなた、アバロと同じく人聞きの悪いことを。いいこと。私は落ちていたものを拾っただけですの。それのどこに許しを置く必要があって。Alright, so in addition to Avaro saying things about her in a disreputable way, Fia is doing it too. So she'll explain. All she did was pick up something that you had left sitting around. Or that she had dropped somewhere. So, why should she need forgiveness for that? Oh, so Okay, so where did Fia drop Avaro exactly? On top of a bed <laughs> while wearing shameless clothes. We call that sleeping. Okay, of all times in Fia. Wanted to say this, but I haven't actually slept with her. Oh, really? Why not? <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, because she kidnapped her? Oh, anyway. Anyway, the reason why she drew him here was in order to... Not just to make him his uh, her husband, but also... Yeah, well, he didn't get all the way through, but... Rishu and Seri is disappointed that she... That Navarro speaks so simply with Fia. Yeah, because he was resisting her all this time. Okay, so Navarro managed to say that he was kidnapped for part of a plan that she has. And here Fia gets to ask her what it is. She says she doesn't need to explain it to Fia. Yes, she has an obligation to explain. Against his will, you kidnapped him and tried to seduce him. So you have an obligation to explain. Of course, it's obvious what the, re the reason why she's took of our was. She even says it as if it's a 
so obvious to it has to be boring. So, if they, this man takes her, then by taking responsibility, she will gain a seat, which is to say, she'll gain power, and that castle will become hers, or become Rao Rosal's. And then she can use the castle as a weapon to destroy Infrus. Okay, Fia says the same thing in a few different words. She mentions outright war instead of just crushing Infrus, but. Okay, she is offended by the fact that she's trying to make this connection with Avaro even though she doesn't really like him. Well, whom she likes isn't important. After all, Noble marriages are more about the family and the profit they get by it than the individual's preferences. So, so no. <laughs> that, that is. Yeah, this could be bad. So no, no. no, she just can't forgive that. What the hell? The volcano erupted? Yeah, no way. This is impossible. Doshua... Doshua Peak should not activate like that. Yeah, if it's an active volcano, then interrupting is kind of natural. No, it's impossible. Well, if she says so, it must be true. It seems to Kisnir that it erupted in response to Fia's yelling. Oh, Kisnir's here. She just hadn't been participating in the conversation up to now. So, now we take turns speculating that Fia made the mountain explode. How impressive. Yeah. It must be something about the anger of the gods. And Deet's here too. Well, Avaro gets to think about that. Anger of the gods, huh? But Fear herself is saying she didn't do that. Rishra and Sally understands that Fia is not connected to this. This incident had another cause. After all, due to the contract with Rao Rosso, that volcano should be pacified. So apparently, Rauroso Principality, Region, Territory has some kind of contract with some ex somebody or other that can keep a, an active volcano from erupting. Alright, she needs to go and <coughs> Go and handle this. The eruption, the damage from the eruption will come to Rao Rosso in no time if she doesn't hurry. Alright. She calls out for her soldiers 
beach. They need to quickly gather up people and pr make preparations and cut damages, do things. In addition to that, there was going to be a force going to Doshua Peak in order to figure out, and she's going with them. Well, that's interesting. Up to now, she didn't show any openings wherein Alvaro could have escaped, and now she just runs off. Okay, in any case, we can get out of here. Fia, where's the castle? Oh, uh, but Fia's worried. This looks kind of terrible, actually. Well, Avaro says we're not actually connected to that. And furthermore, he doesn't have any weapons or armor. Or clothes. Yeah, we well, didn't need to say that. But he would really like to wear clothes again. Clothes are nice. But in any case, let's return to the castle. We can't do anything this far from our base. Right, Avaro's back. I want to craft things. Ah! This is nostalgic, he's back home. It feels good to be back after being kidnapped and all. But he doesn't have time to sit around being nostalgic. After all, the castle has plunged one of its legs into this giant tunnel and it can't move. Alright, time for Fia to make an explanation. She says it's a really good explanation. Yeah, basically, you were a ditz and you stepped on something you should have stamped out. Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, she tried to go to Rao Rosso and in a hurry, stepped on the tunnel. Alright. Navarro says, thanks to everybody for coming to pick him up. Alright, think something of it. As long as you're fine, good. As long as you're fine, it's good. And the trip was surprisingly interesting. Well, nobody's going to call him out for being a dope and getting kidnapped. How nice of them. Well, he had a rather rough time. So, yeah. Indeed helped out Fia, and now Avaro gets to thank him for that. But still, Avaro as he knew him, way back when he was training, wouldn't have left his, let his guard down so well as to get, so badly as to get kidnapped. So he's gotten soft. Uh, Alvaro wants to blame it on the medicine that Risho and Shelly, Seri tried to, well, did drug him with. Deed says that Alvaro would have noticed before that, back then. Okay, fine, I screwed up, I'll admit it. Well, 
周囲に攻撃的でギラギラしてた頃より印象はいい Hmm, but actually, d e t a i l s saying it's a good thing. Back then, Avaro kind of attacked all of his surroundings, at least in a certain. At least with always being self conscious and watching his back kind of stuff. But if he's found a place like this where he relaxes so much, that's actually kind of nice for him. <laughs> So, being in some place you're so at peace, it's something you need to watch out for and be on and keep your guard up. So, in a way, you're keeping your guard up against leaving your guard down because of all the peace around you. But anyway. Sate! Jolsai no hikiyage sa yon ni tori ka kare to shio. All right, so let's get the, this castle out of that hole. Jolsai is being held up, so it's not going to be held up. That means that the ground is shaking. Well, the ground is shaking, but it's not the castle this time because the castle is fixed to the ground. So, it's an actual earthquake. Fia thinks that that mountain of Raul Rosso has erupted again. So, Fia is looking at Doshio Peak with a worried expression on her face. Yeah. It looks like Rushu is in a tough spot over there. So, that ruler of Raul's, Raul, Raul Rosso. Do we think that she's going to come and kidnap Navarro again? Is that really what she's been thinking about? Okay. Maybe once that situation has come da calmed down a bit, they could. But the possibility is pretty low. From now on, we'll kind of be on our guard against that kind of thing. Alright, Navarro. The goddess is looking kind of bad. All right, let's hear it. Etone, Raulosa no hōgak kara, takusan no fuan ga tsutawatte kuru no. So, from the direction of Raulosa, she's getting a lot of insecurity. <laughs> In other words, you want us to help them. Watashi tachi ni yareru koto ga aru nara. Yep, if there's anything we can do. Remember for a sec, their ruler kidnapped me, and it was in order to get their hands on the castle. Okay, she's thinking that that has no connection to the people of Rao Rosso town. You don't know that. They could have had a referendum. 69% of them said, our ruler should seduce Avaro. <laughs> well, Avaro knew she would say that. She is the kind of person who will go and help people. Not only is it good for her, she's, you know, a nice girl and all. But we have to prioritize our problems for one moment first. We need to make sure the castle can move. And then we all go help them. And furthermore, if we want to help out Raul Rosso, 
we'll be better able to do it if the castle isn't buried here. Or the hood isn't buried here. I wonder how they plan on using the castle for this. Alright, this is what gets us out. And this opens up a new map in the castle. So the first thing we need to do is get the castle lifting mechanisms created and then we need to get our goddess rank up to 9. Oh. Kiss never wants to talk to us. And of our of our detail is just hanging out in our castle now. Okay, anyway. That will be all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>